Hi, I'm Kate and welcome to The Kate Show. With me today is investigative reporter Randy Rickenbacker. How are you, Randy? Okay, well, you dabble in a little bit of acting too. And in Rise and Fall in Love, you play a character that is called Randy Rickenbacker and looks and acts remarkably like yourself. How much of that character is like the real Randy Rickenbacker? Well, it's, uh, I'm very glad you asked. You see, Randy Rickenbacker, when he plays in the big-time Hollywood movies, Randy Rickenbacker is Randy Rickenbacker. Okay. You can You can check his IMDb page. But Randy is Randy Rickenbacker. Rocker. Okay. Now, you recently interviewed B-movie cult star George Stover. And at the end of the interview, he, I heard that he stormed off the set. Can you tell us what really happened? Never doing this show again. This is total bullshit. Get out of my way. Well, the interview, uh, yeah, I feel like it went quite well. Uh, I asked a lot of invigorating questions, and by by the time the uh, interview ended, he had, some say he stormed off, but I I realized that he was just very, very hungry, uh, and he wanted to go eat his cinnamon Pop-Tarts, which, you know, are quite delicious, but... Yes, he was, he was just hungry. All right. Do you have any plans to revive your series, Quack Talk? Welcome to Quack Talk. I'm your host, Randy Rickenbacker. I'm Randy Rickenbacker. This is Quack Talk. And welcome to Quack Talk. I'm your host, Randy Rickenbacker. Would you also call things neat? Maybe. <laughs> This has been Quack Talk. <laughs> Thanks for talking today. You're welcome. Quack Talk. Yes, um, y- y- Quack Talk is one of my favorite shows to host. It's, uh, I, I call it my baby sometimes. Um, we took a, a, a hiatus, a, a break, for a while. But we do plan to bring it back. We, we plan to bring back the quack, if you will. I like that slogan. That's very nice. Did you just come up with that off the top of your head? Of course not. (laughs) Now, Randy, you have a very interesting style of interviewing people. Can you tell us how you came to cultivate that style? What do you make of these mysterious findings? Your viewers need to know that the police department is doing everything possible to investigate this matter. Well, as... uh... A wizard or a magician would usually say they can't release all their tricks. <laughs> but, um, yes, I, 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 sorry, I can't tell you anything. <laughs> okay, Randy. All about that. <laughs> well, can you tell us this? We've heard rumors that you will be starring in an action packed martial arts movie. Well, the. <laughs> I will say the rumors are true. Are Uh, they? I can't say too much because it's a very, very hush-hush, big-time Hollywood movie. Hush-hush. But yes, I I do dabble in the the arts of the martial nature, the the martial arts. But uh, so it's going to be quite a movie. It's got a little bit of ha and also... You know, a little bit of he, and even a little bit of sata. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Very interesting, Randy. Do you have any advice for any young people out there that are thinking about taking up investigative journalism? No. You don't. You don't have anything that you would like to say to any young people that are watching the program right now that are interested in the kind of work that you do. They are looking to to you for guidance. You have nothing to say to them. 
Well, I, I, I do appreciate you looking to me for guidance, but no. You, you probably don't want to do this work. It's, it's only really for the, the really bravitas kind of personalities, if you will. So maybe be a barista? Randy, forgive me if I'm talking out of turn, but it seems that you're trying to steer young people away from getting into your field so that you have less competition. Okay, I appreciate your honesty, Randy. Next question, please. Now, Randy, this is not the first time we've met, is it? No, it is not. Let's show a clip from the last time we met. Oh. This has been WNFR TV 10. Randy Rickenbacker. Stay tuned for more reports. This is gonna stay tuned to your face, pal. Well, Randy, we've come a long way, haven't we? Now, I want to ask you about some songs that I've heard that you've performed. And uh, one of them is Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. And the other is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. When can we expect the Randy Rickenbacker Christmas album? Ah, yes. The Randy Rickenbacker Christmas album, the, uh, a very Randy Rickenbacker Christmas, if you will. Well, we've been slowly putting it together, uh, pretty much one song a year. So maybe after ten years, we'll have an, a ten-song album. I can't wait that long, Randy. A little bit of Christmas cheer every year. That is a good way of looking at it, actually. Well, that's all the time we have for this week on The Kate Show. Randy, you've been a very enthusiastic guest. Thank you for your time. Tune in, turn on Tuesdays right here on The Kate Show for more. Bye. What do you mean by turn on? I mean turn on your TV or your laptop or your phone, whatever device you choose to watch videos on. Oh. That's exactly what I mean.